Today, we will be talking about cardiac risk assessment in the general population. There are many risk scores that are applicable for finding out a person's cardiac risk. One is the Framingham risk score or FRS. Next is the ASCVD or atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease score from the American Heart Association. Then you have the European Society of Cardiology's score index. So I tell my patients that heart disease is a chair with three fixed legs and five variable legs. The variable legs or the modifiable risk factors are 1. Pressure 2. Sugar 3. Cholesterol 4. Smoking 5. Lifestyle Now lifestyle includes both diet as well as physical activity. Cardiac risk assessment gives the best positive predictive value when it is done in patients above 35 years of age, especially with cardiac risk factor. The 10-year cardiovascular risk in a person without any cardiac risk factor aged between 35 to 40 years is around 1.7 to 2.5 percent. This is around 1000 times more than the risk of a person having a non-fatal accident in Dubai as per 2009 census. If you are a smoker, your risk increases by 1.5 to 2%. On top of it, if you are a diabetic, hypertensive or dyslipidemic, again the risk adds up. The total risk just doubles if you have a family history of ischemic heart disease. Now you understand why it is essential to do a risk assessment in patients who are having symptoms, especially in the background of cardiac risk factors. Eat healthy, live healthy and have a good life. We take a pledge, you treat you well.